Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. If you don't know what an endocrinologist is, an endocrinologist is basically the doctor who specializes in treating hormonal disorders and the diabetes is one of the most common ones we treat. So, I am going to tell you today if diabetics can have grapes. Let's get started. All right, so can diabetics have grapes? Uh, some people call grapes sugar bumps. Is that correct? Uh, maybe, maybe not. So how can you really eat grapes if you have diabetes? Now I'm gonna explain to you a few facts and we'll tell you how you can still eat grapes and not let your blood sugar spike. Now you need to understand something called glycemic load and glycemic index. Now glycemic index basically explains to you how fast your blood sugar spikes. And the glycemic load is a combination of how much carbohydrate in one serving and the glycemic index. Now if you look at the glycemic index, that can be deceiving because sometimes one serving of a fruit does not have a lot of carbs although the glycemic index is high. You need to know that you don't want to really go glycemic load more than 10. And if you want to Google any product, any fruit, then hey, you know, hey Google, you know, tell me uh, what the glycemic load is for that fruit and it's going to pop up. Now, of course, all these glycemic loads are calculated based on one serving. Now, one serving uh, is uh, a little weird in some cases because most people do not really eat just one serving of fruit. Um, I have patients telling me that, you know, they eat very healthy and all they eat is fruits. And I'm like, how much fruits do you eat? And they'll say, I eat a, you know, a bowl of fruit. Uh, that can uh, definitely put you in a coma if you do that. Uh, now, one serving of grapes is typically around 16 grapes, half a cup. And when was the last time you just had a half a cup of grapes? And that's the problem with uh, grapes. You know, they're they're so easy. They're like uh, little snacks or like nuts. You just throw it into your mouth. And by the time you know it, you may end up uh, having like uh, 30, 40 grapes. Uh, by the time you realize that, oh, maybe you should stop, you know, eating. So, but the bottom line is 16 gra grapes, half a cup of grapes has a glycemic load of 11. So even half a cup of grapes can really spike your blood sugar, but uh, it's not the end of the world. It's almost 10, 11. I'll give you 10, you know, you know, you want to stay 10 or below in the glycemic load. If you're going to have half a cup of grapes, if you want to count it as 16 grapes, be my guest. But remember, you have to also include that in your total carbohydrate allowance. So if you are, you know, allowed to have 45 grams of carbs per meal maximum, uh, and that is going to just add up to your carbohydrate count. But if you're going to have, uh, say, one cup of grapes, you know, that is still 16 grams of carbs. But since glycemic load is a little bit on the high side, it will probably spike your blood sugar regardless. So uh, I would suggest if you're going to have grapes, don't have any other carbs maybe. And if you're having some uh, healthy fats in your diets, uh, if you're having a mixed meal, and that should slow down overall absorption of the uh, glucose as well. So hopefully you're not going to have a, a sudden spike. But if you're having a low sugar and you need to fix your low blood sugar, that may be actually a good option to raise your blood sugar fairly quickly. Now let's compare the two apples. Now apples have a glycemic load of, what, six? And that's very good. Uh, and it's rarely ever people eat more than one apple, right? So that's why I think apple is a better choice because, you know, you are basically having one apple, glycemic index is low, a small apple is around 15 grams, and you have your fruit, and you're good to go. Uh, but it's a lot easier to um, go overboard with the grapes. And given that the glycemic load is almost twice as apples, I will definitely prefer apples over grapes. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and spread the word, share the video. Talk to you later.